an Indiana hospital system says a nurse is no longer an employee after she was tied to a message on Twitter claiming white women are raising sons with the highest propensity to be a terrorist, rapist, racist, killer, and domestic violence all-star. Officials at Indiana University Health said over the weekend they were investigating several troubling posts on social media that appeared to be made by a recently hired employee identified in news reports as Taisha Baker. IU Health spokesman Jason Fechner confirmed Monday that the nurse no longer works at Indiana University Health Methodist Hospital in Indianapolis but he would not say whether she was fired, citing company policies. The controversial tweet which the Indianapolis Star reported was posted on an account named Night Nurse, said, Every white woman raises a detriment to society when they raise a son. Someone with the highest propensity to be a terrorist, rapist, racist, killer, and domestic violence all-star. Historically every son you had should be sacrificed to the wolves be. Fechner, with Indiana University Health, said the tweet was the first social media post by the nurse that was brought to their attention. The account has since been deleted and recreated by another user who has been tweeting from it, according to the Indianapolis Star. I can't breathe. A nursing home patient called for help. His nurse left him on the floor. Indiana University Health said in a statement late last week that it was investigating the incident and would take appropriate action. IU Health is aware of several troubling posts on social media which appear to be from a recently hired IU Health employee, the hospital said Saturday in a statement. Our HR department continues to investigate the situation and the authenticity of the posts. During the investigation, that employee, who does not work at Riley Hospital for Children, will have no access to patient care. By Sunday afternoon, the hospital said, a recently hired IU Health employee tied to troubling posts on social media this weekend is no longer an employee of IU Health. Baker could not immediately be reached Monday for comment. State records show that she was licensed as a registered nurse October 30 and that her license expires in 2019. Read more, a nurse's gut-wrenching goodbye to a dying patient. Nanny Cam captures nurse appearing to shove and ignore a child with special needs.